This is the Fertile Mindset Podcast, where we explore all the emotional aspects of fertility to support you on your path to parenthood. My name is Sarah Holland. I'm the Fertile Mindset Coach and a mother to two children after my own fertility challenges. I hope you find all the support and inspiration you need within this podcast to carry you forward on your fertility journey towards your own successful outcome. It's also my wish that through listening to these episodes, you rediscover how to enjoy life now and live it to the full while you wait for your baby. Now, let's begin today's episode. Well, hello and welcome back to the Fertile Mindset podcast. It's been a while, hasn't it? It was back in May that I last released a new episode. And since then, I've been creating a new series for you with some really wonderful special guests and they come from a variety of backgrounds and ways of supporting people and each of them are bringing fascinating discussions to the table as we talk about the role of mindset on a fertility journey. Now while I've been researching and recording for the podcast I've of course been continuing to support both my Fertile Mindset coaching clients and everyone inside my membership group the Fertile Mindset Sanctuary. As it always is, it has been such a privilege to support them through an important but challenging time in their life. And I'm constantly in awe of my clients and members' strength and courage and how they take care of themselves and prioritise their emotional well-being and mental health. After over 20 years of doing this work, it does still feel like such a privilege and honour to be invited into so many amazing people's lives and to be able to facilitate positive change with them. It's just the best job in the world. I cannot imagine doing anything else, which is why last month it was so wonderful to receive two awards from the European Fertility Society's Fertility Care Awards. I know that the standard of fertility care is always improving, as it should, and there are many, many people worthy of winning these awards. So imagine my surprise when I was announced as the winner of the Best Fertility Coach category and also receiving a highly commended award for my Fertile Mindset Sanctuary membership in the Best Fertility Service category. It's a personal award for me and my work, yes, but it is also recognition for the approach that I have to mindset work using the technique EFT, tapping. It's recognising it as a remarkable way to bring in emotional support to a fertility journey, one that helps people feel calmer, clearer and more connected to themselves and what they need and want while they navigate fertility issues and fertility treatment. You know as well as I do that trying for a baby when you have fertility issues is one of the toughest times in our lives. And it's also a time when you really need empathic and compassionate support, as well as effective tools and techniques that can meet the challenge of the most overwhelming, heart-wrenching emotions. I've always believed that EFT was more than up to this challenge and can bring relief and a much needed sense of calm to anyone on a fertility journey. And now this, some would say, more unusual technique of EFT and my own fertile mindset approach has been recognised with two international and highly regarded industry awards. If you'd like to see the online award ceremony with the feedback that I received from the judges, my acceptance speech when I was feeling very surprised, and also all the other worthy winners of the Fertility Care Awards, then you can find it on YouTube and I'll put the link in this episode's notes. I'll also put the links to both my highly commended Fertile Mindset Sanctuary membership and to my one-to-one Fertile Mindset coaching support. If you have any questions about them and the best way to proceed with the support that's right for you, then do get in touch with me at mail at fertilemindset.com and I can answer your questions or even arrange a time for us to have a chat. Okay, so back to the Fertile Mindset podcast now and our new series of pod chats with some fabulous guests. There will be a brand new episode released each week on Thursdays for the next eight weeks. So we'll be taking you through the rest of this year and into 2023. I hope that listening to these conversations gives you a sense of comfort and support, as well as inspiration and empowerment on your fertility journey and in your life as a whole. 
It's been lovely to see that even while I took a break in releasing new episodes, the podcast has continued to be listened to every single day with lots of new listeners finding us too. Whether you've been here from the beginning, which is almost two years ago now, or you've started listening more recently, I am so pleased that you are here and that you are taking time to focus on you and your well-being while you wait for your baby. And what I'd like to do now is give you a taster of the upcoming episodes. Have a listen to what's in store for you and remember to subscribe wherever you listen so you don't miss an episode. Especially for women who have been in it for a long time to rediscover and and trust their body and really believe that they can fall pregnant and will fall pregnant. So I do, I spend a lot of time sitting with patients nowadays. I think once upon a time, I spent a lot of time physically addressing the issues that we were seeing, whether it was endometriosis or PCOS or unexplained infertility or just even just hormone imbalances in general. And I loved that, but I did realize that there was this big piece that was missing. And that was that women were basing their fertility on other people's experiences, not their own facts. We borrow other people's facts, so to speak, and take them on as our own trusting yourself it's very difficult to do so after you've been through everything through trauma after trauma after trauma in the fertility world it's really hard to trust that your body is sending you the right signals um, that your intuition is on point and so i help guide through that when we are in a session um, i make sure that that's in the forefront and we talk about tapping into what how that feels what what does that feel like to you to hear that right now We still feel that massive need, that longing, and really speaking to the longing for a child here. And that will move into your autumn, that longing, Mm. alongside the need for space, alongside the need for quiet, for truth. And this, this is a really, a massive challenge because you're holding two conflicting needs together, both the need, the summary need for expression, and the autumn need for time alone and true values and feeling all the emotion that goes along with the healing process. Infertility in general is a difficult, challenging, oftentimes traumatic experience. What was making it more difficult was how I was thinking about myself and the experience. And so when I kind of was able to step away from that and and zoom out, it really was like this epiphany for me, like, oh my goodness, I I can offer this to other women that there's a different way to experience infertility without being so, without being caught so much in self-loathing, without the self-criticism, without the added suffering that we throw on top of an already difficult time. We don't often give ourselves permission to feel, permission to feel the grief, permission to feel the anger. You said it earlier, like they're perceived negative emotions and we don't give ourselves permission to feel, let alone dare to ask for support or voice it to those we love. And sometimes I think even just that permission to feel is such a gift, you know, in what you do because you know most of the time we're surrounded by very well-meaning loved ones but they don't know how to even hold how they feel let alone to hold how you feel and sometimes you just need a space where you're allowed to feel where you're allowed to voice everything all the thoughts that we judge as wrong or negative to voice all those things it's shocking it's emotionally grueling sex takes on a completely different kind of sense you know it becomes a chore i have to do this now or with fertility treatments you know such as ivf which you're not meant to have sex even so relationships suffer i mean it's it's huge actually i think and and if you can kind of get a handle to help yourself and and you know, I'm talking as though this is just the woman, but actually men too, in any form of relationship, you know, straight, gay, bi, binary, non-binary, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. It's about empowering yourself on that path because anybody 
who wants a baby and wants to create a family should be given as many opportunities as possible to do that in whatever way. And getting to that place can be a stressful journey too. Yeah, and getting really interested in the connection between the mind and the body, understanding that those things aren't separate. I think that's that's such a mistake in, that we have committed in medicine, you know, in conventional medicine especially, but that's trickled down into, you know, the functional and holistic side as well, this idea of the separateness of the mind and the body. But truly, I mean, the mind, what we think, what we experience, the emotions that we feel, that directs our nervous system to direct the rest of our body systems to behave in a certain way. And if we're constantly sensing threat or we're constantly feeling that sense of like hyper vigilance or our bodies are experiencing that on a physiological level we're not going to function optimally all of our systems are going to be affected and often the result of that happens to be trouble conceiving something like tapping really brings you to a good baseline mm -hmm. and then yoga really takes it for me from there you know i find that once i'm at that lovely baseline okay now i'm in a state where i can listen to my body a little bit okay how fast is my heart beating how quickly am i breathing and then starting to move your body is one of the very best ways to get you out of you know your thoughts and your emotions and that fight or flight and it starts to tell your brain okay we're safe you know we're in a position now where there's nothing to worry about well, wasn't that amazing to hear those voices speaking such powerful words, such truth and understanding for you and everyone on a fertility journey. I am so excited to share this new series of the podcast with you. And the first one will be released next Thursday. So do subscribe wherever you listen, whether that's on Apple Podcasts, Spotify or anywhere else. Click the follow or subscribe button and you'll be notified first when every new episode is available. I hope you have a good week and I look forward to speaking with you again soon. I'm so pleased you're listening to the Fertile Mindset podcast and now I would love to invite you to join us in the Fertile Mindset Sanctuary. The Sanctuary is my fertility support membership which is focused on taking care of you and helping you enjoy your life while you wait for your baby. In the sanctuary, I'll guide you through using an amazing technique called EFT or tapping, and you'll soon be feeling less stressed and more joyful. If you're not already in the sanctuary, do come and join us today because the best time to start receiving support on your fertility journey is always right now. Honestly, it makes such a difference to have good quality emotional support and techniques that you can pick up and use yourself whenever you need them. Go to fertilemindset.com slash sanctuary to join us today. I look forward to hopefully seeing you there and at the next episode of the Fertile Mindset podcast.